Hi, I'm Gustavo Hernando, and I help small businesses have more effective websites. Today we'll go over how you should describe your business so as to give visitors reasons to trust you. We'll start by focusing on the About page and using Talking Head Studio as an example again. You can mention how long you've been in business, years of experience, your company size, and a few short facts about your company's history. You'll see here, the Talking Head Studio mentions that they have over 10 years of experience. They help visitors verify they are a real business with photos of the studio. If you do business over the web, photos of your workplace or your product is good enough. Instead of stock photography, hire a professional photographer for a day. It will surely pay off in terms of increased authenticity and increased visitor trust. Include testimonials from people praising your company. According to the firm Gartner, customers are 2.5 times more likely to do business with you when you reference a satisfied customer. Let's look at another website I designed for a client. This is the About page of National Lasser Protection Agency. You want to provide a photo and brief description of each of the key people in your business. Seeing smiling faces will add to the tone of your website and will really help build trust. Also, listing your affiliations is something you can add, if applicable, to demonstrate your credibility. Showing that you're a member of trade or industry groups help prove that you have a particular level of competence. If they're comparing two sites, they will choose the one with more credible information because it made them feel more confident during their decision process. Because what you do is usually more complex than people expect, helping your potential customers understand it better will make it more likely for them to call you. Unlike talking about what you sell, you want something to show what you know. That might take the form of how-to articles or the more common approach of a free PDF or report that they can download. The goal is to make people want to learn more. For instance, if you're a web designer, you can educate people what to do to make their websites more effective. Sound familiar? If you're a video production company, you can talk about if video quality is important for YouTube. This type of content is useful because most people would rather bring in an expert once they know all that is involved. One more way to share your knowledge by, with your customers is by having a blog. You want to be consistent, though, so that it does not look stale and reduce your visitors' trust in you. I've got one more video, and in the third video, I'm gonna show you how to help people quickly find what they need.